Hello my friends, this is my Alora controlled relay switch module. Last week I was experimenting with uh, Alora and in this video I, I will show you what I learned and I will share a few tips and tricks. My project uh, has two parts. The part that receives LoRa messages and controls the relay module and the other part sends LoRa commands to the receiver. If this part confuses you, these are just four push buttons I connected to together just for for purpose of this video. Each button change state of a different relay. Essentially using this setup I can control lights uh, or Christmas lights or other similar devices over a great distance with LoRa. And what is more interesting, if I connect my devices to this receiver, I can use other LoRa devices. For example, this LilyGo S3 programmable ESP32 watch. I'm a bit late to the LoRa game. My first LoRa project uh, was just a few months ago. A messenger I created for TDEC Pro. I also experimented with LiliGo T Echo, which is designed for mesh testing. However, those devices are quite expensive, so I wanted to try something simpler and more affordable. That's why I bought two of these. LoRa 32 version 2.1. It costs around $15, has a simple OLED display, and offers plenty of free GPIOs for additional modules like this, for example, relay module or those push buttons. Because <laughs> connecting connecting this relay module to this T echo, uh, T deck or this T echo is practically impossible. And after I uh, set up this basic system, I noticed that other boards in LilyGo range, like in LilyGo Laura, Laura range, like this clock or this the echo or this, uh, they are all using new S61262 LoRa chip, while my cheaper boards are using, um, and older boards uses the S61276. And this made me worry that my S61276 <laughs> system might not be able to communicate with newer chips. And on, I also noticed that on, uh, examples on our LilyGo sites use different uh, libraries for these two chips. However, after some uh, research, I found out that SX1276 and SX1262 are perfectly compatible. You just need to set the same frequency, bandwidth, sync word, spreading factor and coding rate on both chips and everything will work seamlessly. So I made another few examples uh, with 
this lily go programmable watch i can also now control my relay module which is cool for parties or something because battery inside will not hold too much hours but it is still cool to control something with your smart watch and you don't need any wi-fi or something similar but i also added i haven't made user interface for it but i can also press one two three and four and also control those using this lily go t deck because inside this t deck is huge 2000 milliamps battery now i will try to explain code code you can find code in the description so feel free to use it uh, most important is code is code for receiver we can see that on both board we are using just few libraries these two are related to wallet display and this is a library used for LoRa communication um, in setup part of code like i said every device i want to include in my system needs to have same parameter same spreading factor same bandwidth coding rate sync wor word and frequency of course which is here in my region frequency which is allowed for lora is 868 but uh, if i even if i use these parameters sometimes i will receive a message which is which is not sent from any of my devices so i need to filter those messages so only messages in this format will be accepted for example if received messages i'll write, write it down here change zero first relay will change it its state if messages change one second relay will and so on so my code for receiver will first check is message length five and then it will change character on place four because if messages change one this one will be on place four zero one two three and four so here is sender sketch which will always se send message in this format change plus string push button which is pressed I hope I explain this okay so feel free to check code if you have some questions about it feel free to send me mail so I I will try to explain it much better thank you I hope you like this project I hope I think this is quite useful for for large properties maybe for some ranches or for parties in backyard tell me what you think sorry for my voice uh, because i'm quite sick in the last <laughs> 10 days sorry bye